let's just open up our version control. You can see we still have workspace.xml from our idea folder in our default change list. The reason for this is because when we did our initial commit, we actually committed the original idea folder, which had some files in it. So we don't need this in our repo. So let's try to get rid of it. So you can see that we still have our idea folder in our project. So let's just get rid of it. We'll do rm-rf.idea, and that will get rid of the folder. If we do a git status, you can see we are deleting these files from our repo. So if we close that, all we need to do is hit Control K and start typing our message. By removing these files from our repo, we might lose some of our configurations, such as our database connections and our client, but that's okay. We can just add that back. So now, if you can see our version control, we have nothing in our change list, and we are ready to start our migrations. We are going to need a table to store our data for posts. Let's create our post table. To do this, we are going to create a migration. If you are new to migrations, you can think of them as a sort of version control for your database. Now Laravel keeps migrations in database, migrations, and you can see that we have three migrations here. These are the default migrations that come out of the box with Laravel. We can get rid of these migrations. All we need to do is just delete them as normal, and they go. Now let's open up our terminal, and we can just clear that up and run PHP Artisan. The output of the PHP Artisan command will give us a list of all the available commands from Laravel. As you can see here they are. The commands we are interested in is the migrate as well as the make migration. Okay, let me just clear that up. Now if we run PHP Artisan, make, migration, and then add the name of the migration, create posts table. Now, this is a good convention to adhere to. It explicitly states what the migration does, but for some reason, this command does take a while to run. However, it's already created the migration for us. It just, I guess, takes some time to complete its processes in the background. So here's our new migration. If we open that up, you can see that we have an up and a down method. And in our up method, we create a new table. In this table object, we have access to some helpers that we will use to create our table. So the first one that we're going to do is string for our title. We're also going to need another field, and it's going to be a text field. And this is going to be for the content of our blog post. Again, we'll do table, this time string, and we'll have our primary image. Next, table, string, and we are going to use, or we're going to call the next column thumbnail, underscore image. The next one we're going to do is table string, and we're going to do slug which is another common property. And lastly, we're going to do author. Now below that, you can see we have timestamps, which Laravel will do for us, which is great. We'll have the deleted at and created at, and I believe updated at as well. In our down method, it's just going to drop our table. So when we run our reverse migrations, it's just going to do that. So let's clear this up once again. We're just going to use VS. Just as a reminder, I have an alias for Vagrant SSH, so I can run something like VS. Now, before we do anything in Vagrant, what we need to do is double check our env file. We just need to make sure that our database username and password has the correct values here. So REST API, Homestead, which is the default username, and the default password of secret. So now if we go back to our terminal, we can run PHP Artisan, Migrate. And what this will do is run our migrations. You'll see it's created the migration table. It's migrated our actual post table. 
that's good. Now if we do uh, MySQL show database or base databases and use REST API and now we can run show tables and you can see we have our post table created.